Hi, I'm Paul Whiffin, and in this short video, I'm going to be discussing a little bit about part F regulation, ventilation flow rate, and the effects of ductwork and the type of fans you install. Just a quick recap of what the fans should be expelling, the amount of air is measured in litres per second. In the bathrooms, we've got to achieve 15 litres a second or more. WCs, the water closets, we're looking at six. The kitchens, we're looking at 30 for any fans that are adjacent to the hob. Anywhere else in the room, it's got to be up to 60. Any utility rooms, you're looking again at 30 litres a second. So be a little bit careful for what sort of size fans you use. Okay, so when picking a type of fan for your wet room, all manufacturers will specify the litres per second that they, the amount of air that they expel. So just be a little bit careful as this measurement that they give you doesn't really take into consideration any ductwork that's attached to it. With this little experiment, you're gonna see the effects of what ductwork does to the flow rate. So you guys can be very careful on what fan you specify and most importantly, what ductwork you install. Right, so what I've got in front of me are the three most common use sort of ductworks. Uh, we've got the round ridges, three meters. We've got three meters of rectangle channel and we've got the dreaded flexi ductwork. The idea is that we've got three meters of length of each and we're gonna test the fan without any ductwork. We're then gonna apply the round rigid to it and take a measurement. We're gonna take the square channel and take a measurement of it and then apply the flexi and talk about the pros and cons of each one. And how we're gonna test the fans is with this, which is a hood and a anometer that measures the liters per second. Basically just goes over the actual fan itself and we just read the measurements at the bottom here. Let's take a measurement of the fan and see what liters a second it's pulling. We're getting about 15 liters a second with nothing attached to the back of the fan. Right, this is the round rigid ductwork that we got here. Please be aware not to use soil pipe, use the specified ventilation pipe. It's got a less resistive sort of surface that air can flow a lot easier. Connect this up just quickly, seal it up, and then take a measurement. So we're measuring 14 litres a second. So 15 litres a second without anything on, three metre duct work, we're getting 14 litres a second. I think that's about a 6% reduction in airflow straight away. So this is the flat channel, three metres that we've joined together to make it an equal test. Uh, flat channel tends to be used in when there's limitation in voids in space. People like threading this through brickwork, so it does sometimes become the preferred option. Just to give you a quick idea how it mounts on the fan, you can see the slight restrictive nature of what it's going to do to the fan flow straight away by looking through here. Right, let's connect it up. So with the flat channel, we're looking at seven litres a second, which is just over 50% in reduction of the fan flow, which is crazy really. The next test is for the uh, flexi duct work. We've kept it nice and taut. It's exactly how it should be installed. And let's have a quick look to see how badly this performs. Right, we're getting 10 litres a second. So that's a 33% reduction in flow rate. The next one we're gonna do is do some peaks and troughs where most people have it in their joist sort of cavity. So we're gonna see the effect of see how that happens. Okay, so we've got the flexi duct work. Uh, we've created a peak and troughs. I've kind of over exaggerated it just slightly, but this is how we do sometimes see it in lofts or in new builds. Let's check the flow rate of it like that. Looking at eight litres a second. So we're losing an additional one litre a second for this one little trough here. Okay, so we discussed the three different types of duct work and the effects of airflow. One thing I've not mentioned are the 90 degree bends. We've carried out a test, added these to the duct work on the three metre lengths. Just to give you an idea, every time we introduce one of these, we lose one litre a second reduction on the flow rate. So be careful how many of these you add. Just a quick note also on the exhaust, on where the ductwork exhaust is, how it comes out the building. We've got roof tiles, be very careful of these. We've had lots of problems with these. This one particularly is quite good. It's got a big aperture for the size of tile that we've got on the roof, so it matches it, it disguises it slightly on the roof so you can't see the vent. This actually reduces it by four litres a second, so just be careful what style you pick. Also, the exhaust on the wall, you get the flappy sort of grills that you can hear in the wind and also the grill plates that are fixed. Be careful, they also add resistance to the flow rate. So all these little additions do eventually add up to quite some significant loss of airflow. Okay, another few points just to add. If you're bringing your ductwork up into an unheated area such as lofts, please make sure the ductwork is insulated for condensation purposes and to stop water. Also, if you're using flexi and you get the peaks and troughs, water can accumulate in these little troughs at the bottom there, which will eventually will leak 
and sometimes you do see wet patches on ceilings and it tends to be how this has been installed. So the best advice, well, is not really use it, but if you have to use it, please make sure it's nice and taut and it's supported regularly throughout the uh, length of ductwork. Okay, one last point I promise is the posi joist sizes to allocate your ductwork. This is a four inch sort of size pipe. As you can see, it fits pretty snug. Just be warned if you are pulling in the extractors at 30 liters a second for utilities and kitchens, you tend to use six inch ductwork to obviously not reduce the airflow. So just be a little bit careful when specifying your joist sizes. Okay, thank you for watching. I'm hoping you found it helpful and assist you guys in picking the right ductwork to assist with your part F ventilation. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Paul Whiffin from At Space, and today we're going to be a what not to do and what to do. <laughs> do, you want to do that again? <laughs> <laughs> That's calculated basically in a, a environment. Where you've got to be a little bit careful at what. Fucking hell, I've had a. Yeah. We're looking at about 10 litres a second. No, I'm lying to you. Is try, well, no, do it again. Yep. Come on. Well, no. Uh, yeah. The effect, too many effects, words I've used. Let's do that again. <laughs> to allocate the right, allocate, fucking, and I'm Paul Whiffin, and over and out. <laughs> Good part F ventilation flow rate. No, it's not achieve. Achieve. Okay. Hope you found that informative, and hopes you hopes does something to you. Give us a tingle. It sounds like.